Welcome back to my humble home here at Calmlands and the 200 horsepower challenge. Um, we're still in August. Uh, I've done some outside the camera. Uh, amongst this, I have plowed up my newly weathered <laughs> field. I did buy myself. Uh, I didn't show that, did I? Um, the um, it's not the unrealistic one, it's the normal one, the Lizard SP10M plow. Um, so that's good. Uh, what else did I do? Well, I did cut down some more trees. Uh, and this area here, I think maybe I'm going to put down some sheds. And this is going to be like my farm uh, area. Uh, but today, yeah, we need to prepare this field here. And the thing is, what should I put down? Um, you know, if I put a crop type down, uh, I'm locked to having a harvester. And uh, I was looking in the mod hub for harvesters below 200 horsepower. There's not that many. I found one. Uh, which I downloaded. Uh, let me see here now. Well, I actually found a couple of ones, but this guy here, 180 horsepower, 5,000 liter, not too shabby, uh, 45,000 to buy. Uh, let's see, headers for this, 5.8 meters. So, yeah, it's in this range here. So, this is the only one I've found, and uh, it's not, yeah, it's cheap as chips. Can we do anything? Yeah, only wheel, stickers, cabin, with or without, same price. Oh, 50,000. So yeah, the thing is, should I put grass in or should I put crop type? But you know what? I need to, I need to sell the trees uh, because I, I need to buy myself um, I need to buy myself uh, um, a lime spreader. What I also have done, I have taken off precision farming. I, I don't want to mess around with the precision farming and getting penalized and all these things. So for once, precision farming is off. It's been a while since I've never, well, since I haven't played with it on. So yeah, it's off. Uh, these trees here, I think I'm just going to sell directly right now. Um, the reason is uh, I could, well, you know what, maybe I could wait. Let's see what kind of, uh, let's see what, did this, uh, oh there we go. This container here is mint. There we go, we got a couple of more there. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking at uh, a combined um, lime spreader slash fertilizer spreader. Uh, also found one there in the mod hub. I think I've used it before, at least on FS19. Bam, let's see how much we got there now. Wood, I need, I, you don't need to, oh, it's on selling. Uh, uh, let's p keep it on storing. Because I know the prices are rising tomorrow. Why do we need, why do we need to take it on and off? What, what's the... <laughs> why do you have to turn it on? It's turned into wood directly. So... <laughs> but anyway, grass silage is going. We got some silage. Wow, wow that's a quick one. Alright, so lime, lime spreader. I'm going with a South American style one, I think. Um, boom, 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 boom. You know, I, this challenge here, really, I'm, I'm recording this straight after the episode one. So I'm sorry if I haven't read any comments, but you know, I'm really eager. It's really fun, actually. Reminds me, uh, reminds me a little bit about the um, back in the old days uh, on Western Wilds, you know, a completely empty map where you can create your own farm, your own fields and all these things. The only thing, of course, is the horsepower limitations, but I think we can get around it. 
there's a lot of uh, nice tractors out there. So fertilizer spreaders. I was thinking about this, but you know, this is a little bit unrealistic again. So you know what? I'm gonna go for this one here. The Taurus, 28,000 to buy. Fixed directional axis, I have no idea. Moving and fixed. Let's try moving. Cover. One and two, no price difference. All right, 28,000, 12,000 liter, and it can hold both. 36 meter spread width. Yeah, both fertilizer and uh, lime. I'm gonna get this guy up. And for lime, um, I think I just have to buy. Uh, I need to buy myself uh, some good old big bags with lime. So you see now, when I'm driving without anything connected, um, the speed on this is pretty good. Uh, you know, 42 kilometers an hour. But as soon as I connect something to this one, uh, there's something happening with the uh, transmission part of it. It drops down to like 20 and 25. Uh, okay, that's a little bit... <laughs> this one also, it's a little bit bigger than I... Uh, I thought, but okay. There we go. Lights, can we open cover? Nice. Um, so yeah, we need to start with lime. Like you see here now, I've turned off precision farming. So let's see if it needs lime. Yeah, it needs lime. Stones, only small yellow ones. I don't care about those stones. Uh, needs lime. Yeah, all right, so 12,000 liter, big bags, lime, uh, that's 16, 14, 12, 12,000 liter, bam, how much is that, 2,000, I need to watch my money, start filling, ah, oh, superb, you know what, let's, let's give uh, the throttle here now, and let's see how the speed is in now, full speed ahead, Oh, okay. No, there you see. Now it's stopping. I don't have cruise control on. I have full throttle, but it's stopping at 25 kilometers an hour. Uh, what I have tried uh, outside camera is to... Let's see, where was that? There's some uh, gear shifting here somewhere. Uh, yeah, gear shift mode. Manually. All right, now I'm in manual. How did I gear? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> now it's stuck in first gear. Wasn't it L1 and up? No. Uh, R1 and up on the stick. No, okay, I cannot do it manually. <laughs> Direction, speedometer, display, engine speed, vehicle speed. So yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with this buddy here. Full speed ahead, 25. All right, let's fill this up and uh, let's uh, let's start with some liming. But now, with the full trailer, I'm doing 42 kilometers an hour. Oh whoa, whoa, no no no! Whoa 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 whoa! We didn't stop, did it? What what is going? Do, did I forget? No, it's on automatic. Whoa, the brakes were okay. <laughs> the brakes were oh man, okay, this is heavy. Of course, it's uh, twelve thousand liter heavier. Um, let's see the spread width on this guy here now. Uh, Thirty-six meter. How wide is that? Uh, no, that's not. 36 meters. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's go. Let's take a overlap there, buddy. 
No, this is no twelve. No, the, yeah, this is more twelve meters than thirty-six meters. Eighteen kilometers an hour. All right. Um, always when you're doing lime, it's gonna require me to at least go and refill the sprayer. That's for sure. I've used a thousand liter already. All right, 18 kilometers an hour, not too shabby. Yeah, I'll see you in a couple of hours. <laughs> part is done and yeah again great tractor but um, sometimes uh, a bit weird one <laughs> especially when it comes to the transmission but also uh, on this end of the field here which I did two headlands every time the the worker came up here he just stopped he couldn't make the turn himself, so I had to do that. Uh, if it's the tractor or uh, the lime spreader, I don't know yet. Um, anyway, we still got around 3,000 liter plus 12. So 12 plus knee, so around 21,000 liter with lime on this one. And uh, while the worker was going uh, partly up and down, I was looking into the mud hub with regards to cedars. And I think I need to sell my wood. The options in cedars and in the mud hub in general is not that great, especially when you have a horsepower limitation. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. Uh, so let's go into factories, production chain. So what are he calling it? And uh, put this on selling. Uh, looking at the prices for wood chips, it's not increasing that much in September, October. It's when you come to January, February, then we're talking big prices. So let's go ahead and where's the time scale? Uh, there we go. <laughs> so let's see. Fem mm, okay, I'm going to take it off right now. Boom. And we got... Oh, yes. All right. Now it's better. We still got a lot of more trees. Um, so, cedars. I think I'm going to go with one of them. Uh, maybe both of them I've used before. I downloaded a new one. This guy here. This is a six meter one. I might go for this one. Uh, it's cheap as chips. The one I was thinking was this guy here. It's eight meters and this one is six meters. This is almost 80,000. Let's see horsepower. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy myself two of this. Yeah, I know. 2,500. That's pretty good when it comes to seeds. Uh, main color was that change. Oh man. Oh no. Um, oh, we, do we got some satin color, sir? I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out the colors. I'm gonna buy myself two of these. All right, thirty-five thousand uh, down. Ay, ay, ay. Why did I buy two? Well, I found another tractor which has also a hundred and fifty horsepower, uh, which also is kind of cheap as chips. And. I think I used it on the Western Wilds way back. All 
Alright, here we go. Two brand new cedars. And it's a trade one, so it's on wheels, so the weight shouldn't have anything to say when... It... What? Okay, uh, let's put the help window on there. No, not that one. Uh, help window, there we go. Lower it. Uh, there we go. Lower. Okay, so then I can just drive with it like this. What? Why is it unfolding? Fold cedar. Oh man! Okay, so I need to have it. I need to. Ha I cannot just lower the cedar. Um. All right. Uh. But anyway, <laughs> I need myself another tractor, and yeah, I'm going for a red one this time. Uh, a good old international. Let's see this. No, this one. Yeah, the the engine setups on these two are exactly the same. This one is around four thousand cheaper. I'm gonna go with turbo, one hundred and fifty horsepower. I love the wheel option on this one. Front attachment. Yeah. Weight of front, I'm going front hydraulic. Probably gonna need a, a a weight also on this guy here. Should we go black, gray? 34,000, what's costing so much? Mm, the engine, of course. You know what, 34,000 for 150, yeah. 40 kilometers an hour, bam. Let's see how heavy this one is. Oh, you're kidding me! Good old international! This little fellow here is much <laughs> heavier in the front than that big uh, Mercedes one. I don't need a weight on this one. Let's go backwards there and forward. No, it doesn't recognize it. Well, a little bit. I'm slipping a little bit with the front tires. Uh, so maybe a, a small weight, but uh, wow. All right, seeds, seeds. Let's go big bags also here. Uh, what did I say? 2,000, I need 5,000 liter. Uh, there we go, 4,000, yes. Maybe now, if I fill it up, it will... Uh, yeah, now it's probably going to tilt over, isn't it? Nah, it's not that bad. Let's see, there we go, around 2,400 liter. You know what? Okay, now I'm... <laughs> now I'm sliding a bit. But the other one it definitely needs a weight, that for sure. So, um, this is my setup now. Uh, I bought myself, instead of a weight on this one, I bought myself a front loader, um, a couple of more bags with seeds. So I'm using that as a front weight. Uh, it's pretty stable. Um, so we'll see when this gets empty I'm gonna get a little bit front heavy because when I disconnect the cedar now like so and try to lift the front loader yeah this tractor here is really uh, what should I say um, it's not that heavy it's really um, um, yeah it's a, it's a light one <clears throat> on this guy uh, I bought myself the adjustable weight, so 500 kilo ones, so this one also is pretty stable now. Um, so what to put down? Well, I've been uh, looking at my crop calendar, uh, not crop calendar, but the, um, yeah, this one. 
And I think I'm gonna go with either Sorghum or Oats. Because that's four months. Uh, oats, I know, will give me straw, which is, which is very beneficial. I don't know if Sorghum will give me straw on this. So I think I'm gonna do Oats. Yeah, I'm gonna do Oat. And... Let's just be sure now that both of these are on Oat, Wheat, Barley, Oat. There we go. And this is a strange setup. But I wonder if the, uh, you know, the Cedar is uh, recognizing uh, the, the big bags in the front here now. Uh, it doesn't look like that. I have 3,005. It's strange, those bars, one of them is showing 3,500 liter, which is total of everything, whilst the other one is showing 1,000 liter. Hmm. And now, again, my tractor stops at 25 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna try to line up these two guys uh, beside of each other, and we will have actually a 12 meter cedar here. Yeah, let's try that out. Alright, let's see here now. I'm gonna hire a worker with both of them. Let's see, switching like this. Uh, Hire worker, bam, give him some space, hire worker. There we go, not too shabby. Oh, 12 meter cedar doing oats. And what I'm probably gonna do is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, one of these guys and uh, and do a headland, at least one I think. But yeah. Looks pretty good. Morning, good morning. We are in September and my oat is growing. The only thing missing is a second layer of uh, fertilizer. Uh, yes, I need to roll it, but I skipped it. I skipped those two percent. Um, so while the guys were um, working on this field, uh, I made myself a new field. Well, I haven't made it. I just uh, mowed up the grass here. And uh, I'm going to do some kind of an experiment here. Um, I had to remove a couple of trees here to get a straight line. Uh, but what I'm gonna see, uh, what the experiment is, is how much different it is between periphery grass and field grass. You know, the amount, more or less. So, yeah, the thing, I, I'm gonna pick up all the grass here now. And I need to note down how much grass that is. And then I'm going to plow it up. And I'm gonna put some grass into the ground, and then in three, four months, we're gonna mow it up again, and we'll see how much we get. Yeah, I got some big bags here and there with lime and fertilizer. Um, let's see, this trigger here on this one is not that great. Let's see if it's working. I, I did some smoothing. Oh, there we go. I think the, the problem was that once I placed this one, it created some uh, humps and dumps here and there. So I did some smoothing. Uh, and now the, uh, it's working much better. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to remove all the stumps here. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna place down a couple of sheds here because now you know I just have them here on my <laughs> on the tarmac.
I love this international. I know, I know. I said that, I said that about the the Lizard or the Mercedes also, but this is actually it. It responds. The response on this one, it's it's much better. Oh, big bags. That the, there's no oh like like there's no issue about transmission or anything like that. Uh, it just goes full speed directly. It has have to do something with the. Um, you know what? Let's uh, let's do a check on that this tractor here. Can I? I have bought it, so could I do some changes to the transmission? This one here. I took the this one. Yes, 150 horsepower manual, 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 manual. Everything is manual on this one. So that's why I think the trans realistic transmission, realistic transmission. What? This one I should have done. The optimized one. I think I went with this one, realistic transmission. What I could try to do is change it to this one, track, same horsepower, but it's optimized. I need to get myself uh, a toolbox. And the same thing here as with the um, the 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 the, the, uh, the container. The first uh, the first location you spawn it on, uh, this is gonna be always the, the spot it's gonna spawn once you restart the game. So maybe there, yeah. All right, I'm gonna pick up the grass and let's see uh, how much we get. All right. Another 28,000. So in total, we got 63,000 liter. 63,000 liter with uh, periphery grass on this one. That should be increased by what? 20% or more? Uh, but anyway, um, so now let's try to optimize this guy here. So let's see here now, uh, with the fertilizer spreader on the back. Oh, it is 18 kilometers an hour. Oh, the telephone is calling. All right. My mother, my mother always calls me every Sunday night, which is a nice thing. Uh, what were I doing? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna try to change this uh, transmission on this vehicle here to hopefully something better. Let's see. Boop. There we go. Customize. Uh, so I have the optimized realistic transmission 150 horsepower. Let's go to this one. Optimized. Wow, 15,000? <gasps> Oh man, 15,000 to optimize the transmission. You know what? Nah, that's too much even for me. <laughs> well, let's see how now it seems to be working pretty good now. Let's put on the map here and let's see if we're getting, uh, there we go. We are getting the second layer of fertilizer. I can hook a worker onto this. And the yield should be good. I need to save I need to save some money now for um, the next phase, which is the uh, harvesting part. Uh, it's only a six meter harvester. Um, but you know what? I I'm thinking uh, what? Okay, hire a worker. There we go. Uh, I'm thinking if I have the money, I'm probably gonna buy two of them. There were only like 40,000 to buy. So I could have two harvesters going. 
All right. I need to grind some stumps and uh, let's uh, get ourselves um, a shed. I have downloaded um, what's it called? The White American Farm Shed Pack, something like that. Um, so let's see what the uh, Americans have to offer. And let's see, let's see how this one will work with um, the, uh, this guy here, the big heavy uh, stump grinder. I'm pretty sure it's gonna handle it even better than the green one. Let's see the weight on this one now. Come on buddy, come on, good old international. There we go, look at This is a beast! I knew I had some good vibes with this one on Western Wilds. The only difference was I, I had the cab, no, the four wheel version. But you know, it's got the same horsepower and everything. Can we drive over them? There we go. Just drive over the stumps like so. Oh, there we go. And shook, it's gone. <laughs> Is it unrealistic? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, yes, it's probably a little bit quicker than the in-game one. But, you know, I, I'm not getting any wood chips or something like that. It's just removing the stuffs. I like it. Alright, field is 100% uh, now. Now we should, yeah, fertilize yield bonus 95. Uh, I did find out what the adjustable um, thing on this one is. Uh, that's these guys here. You can adjust it in and out. See so if I jump in here now, looking at L1 and R stick, you can see the weeds are going in and out, which is pretty cool. I don't know what the usage is, uh, or the benefit with it, but uh, anyhow, I'm going to put it in the shed now. So, farm building, shed, I remove all the stubs and buildings, these guys here, uh, USA white farm building pack, um, we have some extensions here, uh, so I think I'm gonna go for one of the big ones. Uh, which one big big this one big shed I'm looking at having this one and then on the side having one of these maybe so this is 8,000 to buy uh, we got some doors there and uh, nothing there so I'm thinking uh, maybe around here you know flush with the road here maybe like so 8,400 Ooh, the, the ground is not even. Let's see if we take it here more or less. Uh, 8,400. Let's see if we can do some softening here now. Sometimes it helps. I know I could do some flattening or leveling, but that, that's really expensive. And but we'll see. Let's see now. What did I say? 8,400. Let's move over. Come on, buddy. We got the big shed. Big shed. 8,000. Ah, oh, it's the same. Oh, man. The thing is, if I do some leveling here, it's going to look a little bit weird. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm going to take the chance. Um... Yeah, let's uh, jump in at 8,400. Bam! I'm not too shabby, actually. A little bit the height difference there. So I'm looking at maybe if I put a extension on here now. How close can I get it? And it needs to be perfectly aligned, which is a pain in the back pocket. Now my television is turning off. 
Oh man. Uh, 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 <laughs> I got, okay, there we go. I think I got it there. Oh man, I can keep it all the way in. 5,100. Okay, it's gonna deformate a little bit. But not too shabby. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking, let's see how this one looks inside. Open gate. Ooh, do we got lights? Turn on lights, L3. Alright. So I'm thinking equipment inside and um, um, the vehicles outside. Uh, You know, winter season is coming soon. So if I put this one here, bam, I'm just gonna have a look now. If this one will fit. There we go, like a glove. Like a glove. Maybe I can take one more of these on the other side for my other tractor. Uh, turn it around like so. Oh, I, oh, I'm on the edge. Uh, I, ooh, ooh, there we go. Uh, okay, bam. Okay, and I can have my. Oh, it's a little bit slopey there, but anywho, and now I can do some landscaping. I think. Let's do some softening here now. There we go. A little bit on the back side. There we go. I think we're good. Oh. Alright. The field is growing. Fully fertilized. I got myself um, a shed. I'm pretty happy already. I'm going to move most of my... Well, you know what? I, I have another 8,000. <laughs> I'm just looking at maybe one of those other ones. Um, medium shed, small shed, same price. 8,000. 8,000. Oh, I don't like those poles there. I like this more. This is an open one. Uh, small, let, you know, let's see if I can fit this one in. <gasps> Perfect bit. I think so. This is a pretty important uh, vehicle, so maybe I should have a separate one for this guy. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna place this one. I'm thinking building it in a, in a U, U shape. So maybe the... Uh, um, 8,300, oh man, that's a lot of, um, what about here? Ah, uh, it is a drive-thru, 8,009, shoot the maker, you know what, uh, I'm gonna do it, bam. There we go. Let's jump to this one. We're making progress and we are... We're just in September. Probably gonna need myself a silo. Let's... Let's... Uh, <laughs> let's, let's do something... Uh, risky here and try just to drive through here now come on buddy don't nah you're kidding me right oh like a glove like a glove <laughs> oh you know what I don't think I'm can I get out there now Oh yes, that's like a glove. 
All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So before we end today's, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna create myself a field here, and yeah, the the benefit that the uh, PC guys have on this challenge is that the PC guys can have something called auto drive, is it, or course play, which we don't have on uh, console. But I'm gonna use the mini map, and I'm gonna go straight to seven zero more or less. Like so, and let's look at the map here now. Yeah, so I'm creating myself this field here. And I think this, yeah, this is going to be my grass field. We need a grass field. And I'm just looking at the extension of this one. What if we, in the future, you know, can buy this plot here? Bam, I can, I can you know, whoop. How much is this? I can't loan any money. 180. Nah, we'll take that later. But we got some trees to cut down. Uh, the silage is fermenting, or at least the grass. So we, we, we got some uh, money in the back waiting to be used. And the next step now, I think probably will be... Um, yeah, prepping this field and yeah, like I said, I'm really enjoying it. It's like I'm building my own, not map, but I'm building my own farm. And decisions can be wrong, of course, you know, creating a field here might be a terrible idea, but uh, it's it's part of the, the excitement of this kind of challenge. Just drive over, buddy. There we go. Cruise control on. It's gonna be a pretty decent field. Yeah. Alright. But anyway, thanks for watching and over and out on episode 2 here at the 200 horsepower challenge by Crusto.